Marjorie Taylor Greene, Jasmine Crockett, and the dangers of white feminism. Let's get into it. In my previous video, I taught you about the pyramid of white supremacy and how the manifestations of white supremacy at the bottom of the pyramid set the foundation for the more dangerous and violent manifestations at the top of the pyramid. Veiled racism is on full display in the viral video circulating right now on social media of Representative Marjorie Taylor Greene making racist insults against Representative Jasmine Crockett. Now, by allowing Representative Marjorie Taylor Greene to get away with her disrespectful racist behavior, they leave the door open for more of that type of behavior to take place in the government and elsewhere with impunity. Ask yourself. Who has the freedom to express the full range of human emotion and still be protected and respected? Why is the response one way when a white woman expresses her anger or attacks someone verbally, but another more negative, more aggressive way when a black woman expresses herself in response to being verbally attacked? You guessed it. White supremacy culture, white feminism, and anti-black racism, as always. Please don't look at this situation as an exception, an outlier, an extreme, or an uncommon situation. Most white women don't view black women as their equals. They view us as their property. And yes, there's a book about that called They Were Her Property by Stephanie Jones Rogers. You should check that out. Now, this is exactly what black women go through all day, every day at their workplaces, in their businesses, at academic institutions, and online. But of course, we are viewed as being aggressive, angry, unprofessional, or ghetto when we speak up and stand up for ourselves. Where is the accountability? Where are the consequences? This is why you need to be fully equipped as an ally or an aspiring anti-racist to respond to or even prevent these types of situations from happening. This is why you doing nothing is always a problem. You doing nothing enables and perpetuates racist behaviors like this one, which leads to the upholding of systemic and anti-black racism and white supremacy culture. If you want to learn how you can become a more active part of the change that we need in our world and in our country in this fight against white supremacy, join my new Countdown to Juneteenth 30-Day Challenge. We are going to get equipped and prepared to show up with anti-racist values and actions everywhere you go through my Juneteenth Celebration Through Education 30-Day Challenge. The challenge starts on May 19th, 2024. So join today at that link on my profile, and I'll see you in the challenge. Let's go.